So due to the issues with Section 24 and mortgage interest relief, we're finding more and more people are looking to incorporate their businesses. Could you just expand a little bit more on the incorporation process and what that entails? Yes, absolutely. So incorporation is simply the fancy word that's used to move properties from your personal name into a limited company. Um, incorporation relief is also a very specific way to move properties from your personal name into a limited company and minimise tax. See, one of the issues, Rob, we have is that when clients do move their properties into a limited company, there are two taxes they face. The first is capital gains tax, and that's charged on the individual moving the asset into the limited company. And that's essentially the gain uh, that the process incurred from market value at the time that they transfer into the company based on sort of the, against their original purchase cost. Yes, that's right. Um, the second tax that's incurred is often stamp duty land tax, and that's incurred by the limited company receiving the assets or the properties. And again, that's based on open market value. Um, um, the enhanced rates are 3%? Well, absolutely. Um, there are considerations to be had with regards to the amount of debt that the company is taking on to acquire yeah. those assets as well. And that could be taken into account to calculate that stamp duty land tax. Now, let's not forget, though, that also if it's a residential property, the first purchase into a limited company is at the enhanced stamp yeah, duty land tax as well. Rate. So it can be very painful. Yeah. And for many of our clients, when they've looked at this, they often find the ability to kind of break even almost after paying all of those taxes could be many years down the line. So yeah. yes, for some, they may have minimised things like mortgage interest relief by moving the assets. But then they've got these other taxes that basically are incurred at the front end of moving the assets into a limited company and it can be painful. And so we find the best way of moving into a limited company is by a setting up a partnership, just a simple partnership whereby two partners will set up their partnership and run, the prop run their business, run their property as a, as a trading business essentially as a partnership for so two to three years before then moving the properties into a limited company and making the best use of the incorporation relief and also the relief that's due on stamp duty uh, under the Partnership Act. Yeah, many, many people don't realise that those two awful taxes I've just described, capital gains tax and the enhanced stamp duty land tax, they can be mitigated. Uh, there are very specific hoops you have to jump through yeah, to make yeah. that happen and with the support of accountants and tax advisors then you can find your route through for the majority of people and that's one of the big things that we do for our clients. Um, but there are ways to completely mitigate those taxes or minimise them at that very important point of moving them into yeah. the limited company. They're not gone forever, some of them, particularly the capital gains tax. If the property is sold onwards at some point from the limited company, then the capital gains tax will be incurred. Yeah. But actually, we can delay the implications and impact of those taxes. And at a time when it's very expensive to move things into the limited company and you're probably incurring all manner of costs to do so, the last thing you need is additional tax to pay within probably 30 days, yeah, in some cases, of doing that transaction. Yeah, very true. So the incorporation relief essentially just defers the taxation, it doesn't avoid it completely. That's correct. And as I stand, that will roll up into the share capital of the company as it's incorporated. So any of the increased gain is usually deferred into the share capital of the company. And then it's if they sell the shares of the company at some future date when they'll crystallise that gain uh, right. and potentially have to pay the, uh, the CGT. But that could be many years down the line, Absolutely. or maybe even yeah. never, yeah. for that particular individual. So it's yeah. a great way to minimise that tax. So you're, yeah. you're getting a double benefit. You're getting rid of that awful mortgage interest relief if it's affecting you on your personally owned properties. And you're now in a limited structure, which will hopefully be a, a lower cost in terms of ongoing tax. As we all know, limited company tax is a very different rate to yeah. personal income tax. Uh, and you're minimising the taxes of moving those assets at the same time. Yeah. It's a win-win-win. And again, I think Optimise need to sort of speak with clients about these things and help where they can because there's potential issues and traps with regards to both CGT and stamp duty. There's the issue with sort of carrying too much debt into the, uh, into the company, uh, which could potentially limit the amount of CGT deferral you can claim under incorporation relief. And also with stamp duty, we've got the sum of low proportions whereby you won't necessarily relieve all of the stamp duty issues. And again, that's where it's useful for our clients to come and speak to us before, before taking on such adventures. Yeah, you, you bring to the table a really important point. There's some very confusing pieces of tax mm, law yeah. that are involved in the incorporation process. What we aim to do is to simplify it for the client, to work out with the client if they can take advantage of those reliefs, and to make sure they follow the correct steps to take advantage without then lovely Mr. Taxman knocking on their door mm -hmm. because they may have done something wrong in that process. Yeah. And indeed, they need to get the partnership structure straight from the start with regards to how they're then going to move into the limited company 
to make sure they take advantage of some of these uh, reliefs that are available. Absolutely.